Hi, this is Atra16, and this is my first episode of uh, my Call of Duty Black Ops 2 walkthrough, uh, which is a game I did not plan to purchase, but I decided to purchase it anyway, even though the previous Bla Call of Duty Black Ops uh, really did not fit my taste. So uh, we'll see how it goes, and I hope I'll be able to finish this walkthrough. And uh, this is the first mission. And uh, since it's the first mission, I will uh, choose a loadout which is uh, appropriate. So let's use this, this, and uh, how about this? Yes, totally. Or perhaps this. No. Oh, yeah, why? Why not put a silencer? Now, what else can I do about some machine gun? Something not too new, but something not too old. Okay, let's go with uh, MP5. That's believable. Even though uh, the mission will be a little early for what it is. So let's go with this. Now here, what I'll do is smoke grenade. I'll deserve this. There you go. And here, FMG, why not? And stack, yeah. That's a nice thing about this game, is that you can actually customize your loadout. Oh, why not have some claymore here? There you go. And here we go. So you can customize your loadout, and uh, assuming you have unlocked the items, uh, you can uh, benefit from them in any mission. That's a cool thing. That uh, perhaps provide a little replayability. Uh, the other thing is that... Uh, uh, you can replay the, all the mission uh, when you want, and it's pretty simple, which is very nice, especially when you do a wall crew like this. And uh, overall, uh, I think the story is not particularly amazing. It's uh, pretty chaotic and makes no sense. It goes in all direction, so that can annoy a few people. But uh, I think the trick about appreciating this game story is not to care at all and not ex to expect anything. My expectations about this game were extremely low, so <laughs> that means that I was very hard to uh, uh, disappoint. And uh, right now we're uh, in Africa, and we're chasing down... Uh, I don't know what exactly. I think it's probably uh, uh, the main enemy character of this story. Yeah, I have a silencer on this gun, which is a little unusual, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, this game is heavily scripted, and uh, I think uh, this is something which is really irritating, especially if you have a lot of experience as a gamer. But uh, once uh, you accept that fact, I guess uh, you can survive to this. And uh, right now, we're being zerged by a horde of uh, uh, machete uh, enemies. As you can see here, they are very angry. So yeah, I'm just uh, calming them down. I guess uh, this is a little uh, violent uh, to calm them down, but uh, it doesn't work. Now since this is a very scripted game, and I'm playing on veteran, all I need to do is uh, I stick by uh, the objective, whatever it is. And from there I shall uh, be able to uh, win this. Uh, since this is the first level, uh, it's not particularly uh, difficult. Uh, and uh, yeah, the, the veteran doesn't seem as hard as it used to be, for example, in Call of Duty World at War. And all you have to do is uh, pretty much uh, just follow whatever they tell you to do as instruction. And from there, you'll be able to uh, potentially. Okay, uh, more there might not have been a good idea. But anyway, you'll be able to uh, survive as long as you do what they want. Because what that means is that if you don't do what they want, that means you're out of the script. And that means you will die. And sometimes it's. Uh, kind of frustrating because uh, sometimes they want you to do something and it's not clear what they want you to do and you will die and it's not because uh, 
it's hard or anything. It's just because uh, you need to push that button at that moment. Otherwise, uh, uh, you die. Now that uh, friendly officer is uh, really a psychopath. Killing everybody with machete, even though he has a gun. Okay, there's something over there which I need to kill. Let's go get him. That's machine gunner. Uh, I just needed to kill the MG trucks. So, as you can see, uh, they just tell you target, you kill them, and that's it. Now, one thing which is nice about this game is, as you can see, there's a significant amount of uh, enemies around. And this is a uh, same engine as uh, you know, the old of the Call of Duty ever. So, this is a, a pretty optimized engine <laughs> up to a certain point. And uh, many people will complain that oh, the graphic are ugly. And, uh, well, they might not be uh, that exceptional, but uh, they do the job for what it is. You might not like what it's this game, and I will totally uh, agree with you normally. But uh, about what is this game? But uh, other than that, I think uh, they did a good choice to keep this engine. It's really smooth and doesn't require a super beasty computer to uh, to run or well to be uh, simply you know be playable and many games nowadays they get the best engine on the market which means the most complex and that turn into um, some pretty bad performance uh, kind of experience and i think this is a uh, kind of a shame for many games because uh, they choose uh, engine which are just uh, Mending too much for uh, the average computer. Uh, kill that guy. There we go. Yes, yes. So, uh, as you can see, many enemies to kill and no slowdown in the action. And I think that's that's uh, a very nice thing. At the same time, uh, you just wish this game would be a little more uh, tactical. Because you don't need to tank at all. You just move forward. And even though I'm currently on veteran, you can see that it's not particularly hard so far. And I'm just uh, the game is moving my character, so it's an interactive movie, literally. And uh, not always in the best sense. So it's just uh, about that story that nobody cares about. And uh, yeah. Essentially, people are wasting ammo in a very dangerous way. No, we'll go wait with the chopper. And I think we're going to get the mastermind behind this uh, huge uh, enemy zerging. And turns out that uh, this uh, enemy is uh, the main character that they will be chasing down during all the story. Alright, there we go. Now we'll be chasing down a ship convoy. And they seem very well equipped. I see three escort. Now they're even shooting us, uh, probably Strella or something. Okay, now uh, we just need to jump out. And there we go. Now you said black screen because I disabled uh, the disturbing content, they say. And uh, <laughs> this is a little ridiculous, if you ask me. Because uh, it's like the, the scene, they are still there, it's just that there's some content missing. But I wanted to try it out, and this is uh, also good because my public is diversified and some scenes are pretty violent for no reason. It's, uh, it's uh, violence for violence. So there's no uh, real purpose for it. Alright, so what's this? Oh, your flag jacket. Did you get it? I have an access kit which allows me to unlock that kind of stuff and that will benefit me in the missions. So that's fine, but uh, at the same time, this stuff should be default. Reserve uh, perks for other things. And now this is a boat chase. 
As you might remember, there was only three escort boat, and now uh, we're getting uh, zerged by uh, a horde of boats. This is really shaky. Hope nobody is most motion secure in here, because uh, you will get sick. And here you go, more ships. I'm shooting it, and it, uh, yeah, it's probably too far. Yeah, it's too far. There's a minimal range for this, or maximum range for this. Uh, he's moving on the side here. Oops, missing the ladders is bad. Now let's kill this. There we go. Okay, let's kill this as well. Oh, there's also a few. Uh, evil guy over here. There might be a few more over there. Let's see, yeah, this one. And this one. And this one was really threatening, but these are from A7. Alright, so what else? Okay, there's a, a ship over there. I'll go up here. And what's interesting is that while I'm doing all this, the, the captain of this boat is still uh, just floating around. You know, keep okay, going. No problem. Open up the container. Okay, we'll open up the container. Here we go. So as you can see, I'm kind of reviewing the game at the same time as I'm showing it to you uh, on Veteran. And here you have a container, which is uh, depending how you, uh, Woods, you in there, brother? set your uh, disturbing scene option either full of dead body which is this guy is actually dodging right now he's not the moving like that uh, for no reason but it's just that in the kind of more uh, well less uh, gruesome uh, scene uh, they decided to keep the animation of dodging dead body and there's dead body all over the place this guy while he's alive he seemed nearly dead it's me it's me mason Look like uh, a dirty uh, dead Thank guy, or mummy, nearly. And this is one, uh, I think that's the guy which is in the wheelchair. In all the cutscene, I believe. Because uh, although I did play this game a little, I did not really care much about uh, the story. And now I'm supposed to shut down this chopper. There we go. There you go, I hit it. Not any more than that. There you go, hit it a second time. One more. Got it a third time, it's still flying. Go figure. I don't know. Why it's crashing. No, that took three shots. But actually, no matter how many times you hit it, you'll end up here. Just because this is a scripted game. So uh, now I'm supposed to go get this guy, which I'm not controlling at all. And now that he's afloat, I just need to hit S to go back and admire that ship uh, sinking. Never saw the captain on it, and I really don't understand why th that can <laughs> captain never came out. Because uh, if uh, there was people shooting on my ship, I uh, would be curious about that. Probably attracted the attention of every MPLA foot soldier in the area. Yeah, you think so? We need to move. It's a jungle, and yet it's full of PLA soldiers. Now that's the part which I really appreciate. I'm moving your head around, and it's really creepy. It remind me of uh, Come on, Woods, I've got a you. game. I got you, brother. About darkness or something, which I saw videos of. <laughs> Anyway, it's, it's like uh, you have that head, which is uh, really weird. Creep me out. Yeah, look. It's even uh, must be bo good to punch people with. Yeah, no luck. Alright, so moving there. I hope. Okay, I uh, get cover be behind that log. I'm putting a guy which is all white and bloody in the middle of a grass field. Yeah, sure. They're just kids. That's very stealthy. And now you're, uh, the game uh, is really telling you that 
these guys are uh, bad people because he hit a child again and now nobody noticed that uh, we're here even though uh, we're pretty visible that's bad camouflage that this guy in front of me has let's move yes let's move nearly killed that guy by holding his uh, mouth like that and now moving right dead down. around it's really weird because uh, normally uh, he's supposed to have his uh, arm uh, around my shoulder or something and I don't see that how he can okay, be in that position and do that kind of weird was I've broken uh, his arm or something okay I'll move the head toward there there's the objective and uh, yeah I need to crouch and very fortunately there's a hole here for us to admire the view it's very fortunate now we're just waiting for this guy to go away and while he do that I'll hit the head on the wood yeah stay close he's not even complaining all right so i need to follow this guy and uh it's very difficult to follow him straight now we're moving into the vegetation and it's very noisy normally but we seem to have special power that prevent us from being detected now last time i did move into vegetation like that it was very noisy i don't know how we're so stealth. Must be some kind of uh, special operation skill. Especially at this speed. Okay, I move out of the grass. Totally. Alright. So, all I do is I follow this guy. Because I'm pretty sure that uh, if I just go away from there, uh, I'll get shot at. I'll die or something like that. So we'll see. Okay, Watch yourself pick up there. around. Yeah, Try not to draw any more attention. I have a silencer, what can go wrong? Now there was an axis over there, but uh, I don't care about what's in there. Okay, there's plenty of enemies around. I'm getting in there. Approach and overpower the radio operator. I would like to point out that I did not pick up a weapon in my loadout. Uh, I mean a pistol. Oh, that's a tough guy. It's actually uh, one of the main characters. Or the, the main character of this story. He's always there annoying you and he's uh, nearly invincible. You tried to kill him so many times, but claro, it never worked. Que no se mueva. Shut up! <laughs> que está en control. Stay back. No I say shut up! Lower your weapon! Lower your weapon? Los Americanos no saben nada sobre la lealtad. Quizás nosotros yes, yes. deberíamos demostrar. Oh, this guy is crazy. He's very committed. I shot him, the building explode when I look behind me. There's nothing remaining in there. I'd like to point that out for future reference. And I just shot from nowhere, I just did not see anything. Which is fascinating. Oh yeah, that's because I should not go over there, it's not the path which is defined. So, we're back here. And in there, there is nothing, everybody is dead. And I need to go over there, otherwise I'll die. Now we're just fleeing. And I think what I'll do here... No, I won't do that. I'm getting shot at, but since I'm fleeing in the right direction, I seem not to be getting sh hit. Now they want me to snipe uh, the enemies here. Why am I using this gun? This gun is better. Or oh, it's more appropriate, let's say. 
Okay, shooting random people in the jungle. jungle. We gotta get moving, Hudson. Throw smoke. Yeah, throw smoke. So we get moving. Grab woods. Okay. Let's go. Now we're pulling back. Telling me follow, but I'm not really following. Okay, there was a guy there. That's disturbing. How did he get there? How do they want me to go in there again? It's very fortunate that each time that we decide to make a stand, there a place where I can go snipe like that. And even though I'm pretty exposed up there, uh, and this is veteran, I would like to remind people of. Well, um, I seem to be very well protected in uh, a very badly constructed defense. We gotta make a run for the river. Yes, let's make a run for the river. Oh, there's ammo over there. Probably will be my lust, but uh, Come on, Woods. some ammo never hurt. Yes, yes, I'm fleeing, fleeing. Oh, guess what? There's another, another house here. Oh yeah. Wow. These trucks are really explosive. Oh, I guess. Okay, shooting more people. There we go. There's too many of them. Oh, you think so? You want me to defend that position? Oh yeah. I should probably go back here. There's another truck. Make it explode. There we go. Easy kill. It's really amazing how nobody hit me here. Not really uh, even aiming much. Not particularly good at aiming lately. Oh, getting shot at by mortar. Pull back. Oh, there seems to be an enemy over there. Now oh, it's telling me follow, so I should follow him. And even though there is plenty of enemy behind us, I should follow him. Okay. Come on, Frank. Come on, we're yes, getting come on, out. Frank. We're getting out of here. No. No, great. Oh, did you remove the cursing dialogue of this guy? Or it's just not loading? You I would leave you. <laughs> the chopper is still shooting rockets while uh, landing. That sounds safe. Okay. Well, so nice. We got him, Mason. Oh, great. Nearly lost the guy there. But Woods decided to save us. And this guy doesn't mind being shot in the shoulder. So we'll get uh, home safely and happy. You can't kill me. Thanks to your old man. Put it on the line for me. Mm, yeah, for right. honor. Friendship. Yeah. It's just like you, kid. So that was the first level. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you on the next one.